mic right in front of The mic is over there. But is this close to this? <laughs> this mic. Wrong mic. <laughs> okay. All right. So this will be recorded, and uh, today is Sunday, May 1st, 2022. It's a little after 6 a.m., I believe. And today is the last day that Jay's Cocktail Lounge will be in business. Tomorrow it's going to be closed. The owners are taking over. And my name is Jay Carpenter. I'm the son of the Jay Carpenter that started Jay's in 1955. So this is 67 years of community here at Jay's Cocktail Lounge. And I created a little presentation to sort of capture some of the history and talk about the bar and what happened here. What it's done for me over the years is I, I was born the same year as the bar started. So let me go right into the presentation. And okay. So this is the front of Jay's Cocktail Lounge uh, as it stands today. That's the sign on the left and the front of the building on the right. And the middle is an image of the uh, aquarium. It's been a standard Jay's Cocktail Lounge on right now. They just, just took it down. But the aquarium has housed George the Turtle, which was a uh, water turtle that a customer brought in one night, put it up as collateral for a loan, and then when he came back to uh, get his turtle, my dad said, no, I'm keeping the turtle. So um, many, many people over the years have been entertained by George the turtle, who, by the way, it turned out when we had a turtle expert in here one night, it was actually Georgine the turtle. It was a female. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to ask. But anyway, uh, George George turned out to be female. So we'll we'll take it because it's a colorful story. So this is my dad. Uh, along with a couple other bar owners um, in 1954, about a year before the bar was started. And uh, those are two other fellows on the left own bars along Grand Avenue. And the, the bar community at that time, when I was growing up, was this really rich community of uh, people that would visit each other's bars. They would go hunting together, fishing together. There was Jim and Velma Chilson in Payson, Arizona at the Star Valley Inn. We would go up there and we'd have great parties and go fishing. And they were all really, really colorful characters. And Do you remember what bar was that? I, I think it was Shorty Browns on Grand uh, Avenue. And I can't remember the other one. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was Shorty's on Grand Avenue. So, so that's my dad uh, talking and, and uh, collaborating with his other bar owners. And this is something I'm really proud of because my dad was really, really active in raising money for the March of Dimes, which was a um, benefit for uh, children with polio and other uh, disabilities. And my dad would run, go around town and pass out these cards and collect them uh, full of dimes. And, and then we'd have a big barbecue at the end. And there was a contribution that was made to the March of Dimes. And it turns out that um, uh, a friend of mine is here today, Linda Botter, and uh, her and I, uh, She's involved with the Lions Club, which is involved with the March of Dimes. And Michael and Cindy and I know a fellow who the March of Dimes was started for, who uh, was afflicted with polio. So it's kind of a close, closing to the loop here. But um, I'm really, really proud of my dad. He would go around, pass out these cards to different bars, and um, it was a great way to do something good for the 
the community and also um, create new business because people would uh, cut the J's as well. So, um, and I'd also like to point out that immediately to my dad's left was Ray Pumphrey. And my dad and Ray were great friends, and they started a restaurant bar together called L.J. Ray. And then the third fellow with the bald hair head is uh, Curly, who basically ran Jay's bar. And Curly was amazing. I learned a ton from Curly about knowing people's names. If you walked into Jay's and you were new and you asked for a certain type of drink, certain type of cigarettes, or anything and we didn't have it the next time you came in curly would know your name and he would have that brand of uh, drink or cigarettes or whatever it was amazing everybody loved curly and um, it, it, the team of my dad and curly were just a phenomenal dynamic duo so i'm really really grateful for the, the two of them and as well as ray Humphrey and my Whole community here at Jay's. Do they partner? No, Ray did. Yeah. yeah. Ray ran it. And Ray was uh, the chef, basically. And then my dad was involved helping him start. Did Ray name his son for your dad? Um, I think so. Yeah. So. He was in our class. Right. And, and Jay Humphrey was supposed to be here today. So. Or might have been. Anyway, yeah, and it is, and Jay's wife's name is Cynthia. Anyway, um, so all the money that was collected for the March of Dimes, um, uh, putting dimes in cars, uh, was part of starting Camp Cadia in, um, I believe it's Pine Top, Arizona, and and there's a plaque for my dad there. Uh, thanks to, to recognize him for all the, the puns that he made. Um, Who was in charge of the spelling? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> so this is my dad um, wearing his typical uh, Western outfit, all the board ball and Oh my God, he made. <laughs> And I don't know if you can see this, but she knows she touched it. Um, so you'll see this. But just once. <laughs> so my dad loved this cane. He had a lot of fun with it. Um, I won't say on a recording what it is, but you can ask me about the cane if you see me. But suffice it to say, my dad had a lot of fun with this cane. He was really proud of it. And um, just ask me when you see me what the thing is made of. Um, and this is my dad again. Um, and you can see he's got his cane, and he's with uh, his family at uh, Joy's graduation. So, this is a really interesting photo because. This is actually in Prescott, Arizona at, uh, on Whiskey Rose. And it, this is the building and the bar that my dad bought. And you can see just under Jay's, it has Matt and Jay underneath because it eventually became Matt's on Whiskey Road. And Matt Yukito was a bartender here in Phoenix at Jay's Cocktail Lounge. And my dad bought this bar in Prescott said, Matt, will you go up and run it? Matt ran it and then ended up buying it. Now it's become this really famous bar on Whiskey Road. And um, here's a picture of Matt and my dad. And uh, Cindy and I saw Matt before he passed away a couple of years ago. And Matt was just incredibly grateful for my dad and everything that he did. It was really inspiring to hear uh, Matt talk about my dad and how Dad was uh, really a, a collaborative partner for Matt and helped him create a successful business and a great livelihood up there. So um, I was saying earlier, you don't always know who the people in your life are until they're gone and you start to hear about who, what they meant to other people. And uh, so 
it's it's been really really inspiring to hear about my dad um, from the viewpoint of some other folks, including Matt. And then this is a picture of Matt and me in front of Matt's on Whiskey Row uh, shortly before he passed away. And, uh, this is one of the visits we had with Matt. He was just uh, so gracious to to share all the stories he had about uh, Matt's as well as my dad. So, so on to Mr. Lucky's. Mr. Lucky's is very close to Jay's bar. And my dad went to Mr. Lucky's frequently. And here's an article from the New Times recently about what a landmark Mr. Lucky's was and how it was this collection of musicians that were world-class musicians that often some of them lost their career at Mr. Lucky's. And Dad G. Carpenter was instrumental in introducing the two fellows on the right side of the picture. The one to the far right is Monkey Legate. And the one next to him is Bob Sephora, a famous entrepreneur who owned Mr. Lucky's, owned Bobby McGee's, owned Bobby Q now, and um, both yeah, Funky and, and Bob Sephora uh, formed this really powerful partnership and created these businesses together. And they were at Matt Bukina's memorial that Cindy and I attended uh, a couple of years ago. And they were also both so grateful that my dad had uh, connected them and basically supported their endeavors over the years. So, and then um, the other notables in this photo is to the uh, left, second to the left is Charlie Fry, and the other fellow is uh, Ronnie Nelson, really famous musicians. So. How'd they get them to all uh, dress up like the loose dress? Uh, that was only from the photo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that, was that Harry Reeves or Patrick Mayo? <laughs> it, was, it was Pat Reeves. Uh -huh. So, anyway, we don't know who the fellow is. And then this is a little figurine that my dad gave to my grandmother and her pictures in uh, the stack later on. But uh, this is something that I really cherish. It's really a cool little uh, memento of both my dad as well as my grandmother. This, for those of you that don't know, I was adopted and this is my biological mother, Claire Grindy. And uh, Claire, fortunately, uh, um, interviewed three couples and chose my mom and dad and stayed with my mom and dad while I was born. And uh, so I'm really grateful for her and I'm grateful for her uh, care and finding a great set of parents who gave me the Claire and my mom and dad have given me a phenomenal life. So grateful for her. This is a, a picture of my uh, Jay and Edna Carpenter, uh, probably shortly after they were married, but um, you can see they're a very handsome couple, and they they were married for I think over forty years, and uh, became a, a really powerful part of the community. So this is my mom. Um, another picture of her a little later. And then this is my dad's two brothers. The one on the left is uh, Jenny uh, Carpenter, James Carpenter. And, um, and he is uh, he's the father of uh, some of our, our, our close relatives. And then the one on the right is uh, Max Carpenter. And he uh, helped dad run a bar in front of him. And this is me. This was this was this was taken at the La Cabana Bar in uh, Wickenburg, Arizona, that Dwight Pemberton ran, and uh, it was kind of a famous photo. Those are my dad's pistols that actually work. Uh, they were kind of like Hollywood pistols. He would take them to rodeos and stuff like that and fire them off. And so that it was, it was really cool. Uh, 
And then this is Eva Hawk, uh, who uh, was my grandmother, and she married Malin Hawk. And just recently, Malin and I have become uh, connected and friends, and Malin's here tonight. And uh, we're just really, really grateful for uh, Evie, Eva, we called her Dan Dan, and she was uh, a big part of our lives and just really a wonderful person. So that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thanks for doing it.